Hey there, it's Vanessa from Bolden Food Forest in Rogers, Texas. We're just outside of Austin. Uh, we have five caterpillar tunnels on our property and we built them all by hand so they didn't have any kind of a kit or anything like that. And I was trying to come up with a good way to do end walls. And uh, to buy an end wall is about $800, which is a little too expensive for small farmers. But uh, I wanted to come up with an idea to have ventilation and uh, keep everything nice and warm when it gets cold outside. So here are my ideas and I hope they work and I hope they work for you. My idea was to use a product called Zip Wall. It's something that painters use uh, to put in a piece of plastic to separate rooms when they're working on a project that would have a lot of debris. Uh, and I thought, what a great way to put a door into an end wall. So this is uh, two zip wall zippers. Uh, and then the black you see is Gorilla Tape. I use that. It's the uh, high UV waterproof Gorilla Tape to hold down the zippers just a little bit better. Um, and then up on top, there are some uh, cable ties. There are Velcro cable ties that are holding uh, the door up when it's rolled up. And when you want to roll it down, just pull those down, zip it down, and it's nice and closed. I got some heavy-duty thread, the kind that you would use for uh, upholstery and other things like that. And I'm just doing a very simple uh, stitch down the side to help hold it in. And then I'm going to put the black Gorilla Tape over on top of that. But as you can see, it's just, it's pretty straightforward. If you have no experience, you really don't need any. Um, so hopefully this will work and I'll report back and let you know. The plastic that you see here, I got from a uh, bootstrap farmer. It's their eight millimeter um, woven plastic. Um, it's extremely strong and durable. And that was what I chose to do all of these end walls. Um, I bought one piece that was 24 feet wide and 30 feet long. And then I cut it into uh, the right shape and the right size. And then along the bottom, I took a piece of top rail and I put track on it, wiggle wire track on it. And that is what's holding this in place. So it's worked very well so far and uh, is a cheap alternative to hat channel, which is uh, extremely expensive and we're able to run our um, header lines underneath this uh, for irrigation and things like that. So that's how we did that. If you do the sewing method, I would recommend getting a product like Goo Gone or something else like that and a shop towel having a little bit on there because the needle gets very, very sticky going through the adhesive on the zip wall. So I have this and I'm just running the needle through it every couple minutes so it's easier to get through the, the plastic and the, the zipper. Here are some screenshots of the uh, products that I used to do this project. I don't know anything about affiliate links or anything like that. So this is my first YouTube video. And so I just wanted to show you guys what I bought. And if you want to buy it, you can.